some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Jefferson County, Alabama with the gruesome twosome known as uh, McRusty and Wife as they end up getting booted out of the local courthouse. This particular video may seem a bit familiar to you. Well, that's because we covered the Georgia Transparency one a few days ago. But you know what? Lana has a bit of lag time when it comes to posting videos that uh, come out when they do frauds together. So we will have just as much fun laughing at Lana as we did at Rusty. So without further ado, let's get this S show on the road, shall we? In County, uh, what is it? Juvenile Court. Did you said Jefferson County Family Court? Oh, Family Court. Yeah. Are you stupid or something? Oh, Rusty boy, why'd you have to go and correct your wifey like that? You know J-Town Press is right about everything, don't you? Just don't do that again. And maybe, well, just maybe, well, we won't get into that. I mean, this is a family-oriented channel, damn it. Or that's what I think it is, anyway. Five minutes later. Sounds much better in here. How you doing? Good, Irene. Nice and cool down. Yeah. You know, so it's not so bad. No, no courtroom. Just public areas. Public lobbies. What's that? Work. Beyond here is going to be court, so that's yeah. Is there not the uh, clerk's not in the back here? The clerk is right here. Uh, what, and so there's only courtrooms in here. Uh, the magistrate and probation office and stuff. Right. Right. Behind this point is not public. Right. It's going to be before the middle of the ticket. Yeah. So you can't film. Yes, we can. Yeah. After here. Do you have a supervisor? Function? I do. Right. I can call him. Yes, I want to speak to your. Hey, Rusty boy. Hey, Lana. I wonder, can you read this sign right here uh, where it says that photography and uh, filming are restricted beyond this point? Can you at least try to read these signs before you cause trouble? Oh, wait. No? You can't read? Well, that's all right. I'm sure somebody around here with at least second grade level education uh, would be able to read that for you. Step back here for Public lobbies, public hallways, no courtrooms. Hey, I need you up for an immediate Do you know who I am too? Yes. Oh. Yes. Hopefully they say nothing but kind things about me. Well, there's some stuff that's in the glass works over there I would like to get pictures of. Hey, at least you're smiling. Nope, you can cut us. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Did y'all see the Banshee of, ba of uh, Basmer? What's that? The Banshee of Basmer? I, I, I don't even want to speak on anything because you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> I have no answers. You get it all? Aren't you a public servant? You work for Jefferson County, don't you? Oh, Lana, are you upset that they won't talk to you? Because, well, there is a uh, fact that there are a lot of people, people like yourself who will twist the words of anybody they come in contact with to get a sensationalist piece of BS out there that will cause the destruction of anybody in their path. Prime example of that would be Josh Abrams and that belt adjusting incident where that old man adjusted his belt and Josh Abrams ended up making it into such a sensationalist story that, well, it almost ruined that man's life. And all for what? Clicks and views on his YouTube channel. A few moments later. I'm sorry. What was your first name? It's Officer Hopkins. Hobbiscus? Hopkins. Hopkins. See how, see how easy that was? I hope y'all know who she is. I don't have to give you guys my name. 
You haven't had a free lunch? Oh. <laughs> is this a, is this a pu- open to the public? It's not. It's not? What? Y'all call uh, George up here. Please. Oh, I already called him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you security or are you a deputy? Security. Security? Yeah. Oh, so you know who I am then? Yeah. They all do. Yeah. Oh, there's a good thing. y'all to wait out there. Yeah, we're we'll waiting right here. Yeah. That food does smell oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, We're waiting on him. He knows. He can go ahead and go ahead. Yeah, I thought you were handing out food. Uh, you know, you don't have to be taking nobody. Who are you? And who are you? Robinson. And you? No. Oh. Your dad? My dad? You're my dad now? No, you are. Oh, wow. She said I'm her dad. Uh, that she's my dad. That's kind of weird. How you doing, sir? Where are you? Good, good. Just trying to make it into the public areas. I'm not sure why they're trying to keep the public out. Yeah, well, we see signs like this at courthouses all over Jefferson County, so we obviously have been through security before in courthouses. Even with signs like this, there's no law here. So. See this right here? There's no law here. That is a weak, pathetic little argument right there that you frauditors put out. In fact, so weak that if you applied this to these signs right here, then, uh, well, it would could be completely BS because we all know that these some of these signs do have consequences to them if you disobey these signs, such as the stop sign or the uh, handicap sign on a no parking space. So you got any more dumbass arguments, Lana, or should we just move on? <laughs> Do you understand which courthouse you're in? Yeah. Which courthouse are you in? The family court. Yeah. Do you go to the family court? Yeah. Family stuff. It's still open to the public, though. It's still open to the public. No, what, is there a law behind it? There are restrictions. I can't bring a sign. You, you, also, you also have. Juvenile cases here also? Okay. Okay, but that's what this courthouse Yeah, but we can go in the public lobbies, public hallways. Shouldn't be out in public lobbies. Yeah, they're in courtrooms where we're not going to go. That is another pathetic little argument, and you know it, uh, Lana. For the simple fact is there will be attorneys and clients talking outside of the courtroom uh, in certain circumstances, such as when court is adjourned. Then there will be the jurors that might be walking around the courthouse, and, well, your video being posted on the Internet would be a security risk to those people who don't want to be identified as a juror on a trial. You freaking jackass. And those are just a couple of the security concerns regarding this kind of activity. But yet you just don't seem to understand that. Or you do and just don't care. So what is it? Well, well, well I mean, the juveniles are outside on the sidewalk, too. That's, that's different. That's, that's How is it different? It's in public, sir. Why are y'all restricting our rights? Yes, we have no business here. Yeah, we do. It's called it's called freedom of press, sir. That's our business. And, uh, you're you're a press. You're a member of the press. Absolutely, you are too. And of course, Lana has got to muddy the waters by doing this kind of thing all the time because high school rejects like this don't seem to understand why there is the freedom of the press inside of the Constitution. It has nothing to do with freedom to do whatever the hell you want because you claim to be a member of the press. It has everything to do with publishing your stories free from government interference like what was happening prior to the American Revolution when uh, the King of England tried to censor all the stuff coming out of the colonies. You freaking moron. Now this is a fairly long video so we're just going to cut to another good portion of this video before they get trespassed. Now let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many tic tacs later. Fat pig. You are a fat pig pervert. I'm a pervert, yes, in Georgia. Wow. Where's your evidence, sir? Where's the evidence? Well, for one thing, I'm sure the smell must be unbearable because I've received emails about uh, how much Georgia transparency uh, stinks up the place with his body odor. And he does tend to have a reputation, and I received. Uh, one email about uh, how he was acting in, at another for audit, and this kind of thing is quite common with this jackass. So if you've accumulated a 
reputation such as this, I can only imagine how the police must think of you overall. Now what do you call them? Wow! Where did you see her? Wow. Well, that's right. I'm the supervisor right now because you look people. No. 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 Screw you. He said, screw you. Can we speak, can we speak to it? We need to speak to a supervisor, I need a please. Supervisor. Okay, we can do that outside. Yeah, well, we can do that right here. No, we can do that outside. We can do it right here. It's right, right now, we're, we're starting to cause a scene here. Well, he's the one that's I'm, calling I'm, names, I'm not trying us. To, I'm trying to. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Call him a moron. I didn't accuse him of being a freaking, like. Being a moron is not against the right. And so, what do we what do we talk to a supervisor? Are you a supervisor, sir? Are you a supervisor? Are you a supervisor? It's either yes or no. You're a supervisor. Okay. So, how do I put a complaint on this employee right here, Mr. Hopkins? Yeah, put two on me because I said I didn't blame somebody for jumping on this idiot, and I called him the fat pig pervert. So make sure it's two. Make sure it's on me. Yeah. I mean, this is how this is what we the people pay for right here. I mean, that's pretty piss poor service right there. You are not we the people. We the people are a collective, not an individual. We the people pay for these services to keep the riffraff out of the courthouses and everything like that so we don't have a security problem such as yourself causing a disturbance. And that's exactly what you're doing. And we the people are tired of your bullshit. You know what? For the sake of my sanity, for the sake of every viewer's sanity, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end where they do get trespassed. Because from this point on, it's just more of Lana's circular reasoning. And when you hear it once in a video, you don't need to hear it over and over again. So let's roll that footage. Eventually. Which is so if I don't, am I being trespassed? I'm actually one more time. So if I don't leave, I'll get arrested. Okay, under threat of arrest. My name's Rush. So I'll get arrested if I don't. That's not important. What's important is if you you have business in the building, I do. I do. But you cannot record. Yes, we can. It's a public. He just said we could though. I feel like you can show me something legally. Yeah, the U.S. Constitution. You, well, no, I'm not talking can, about can I Can I show you some case law? Oh, you don't talk about it. Uh, so, so if I don't, what's going to happen? Am I being trespassed? Okay, what am I going to be charged with? Yeah, he's he's going to arrest us if we don't. He said he will. He's the, Well, that's what he's implying. Okay, so. we'll, be, we'll be arrested by the Tennessee County. We'll be arrested. He's got his body cam on. So where do we have to go? Outside. Off the property or off the, just outside? outside. Okay. What about right here? Outside. But she said we could record over here because she no, said this was all public. Here. No, I right, we're being removed by Jefferson County again from the public space. Why is this window broke? And now it is time for the walk of shame. Enjoy it, you two. It looks good on you, and uh, Rusty Boy may help you lose some weight. And I mean that very seriously, Rusty, because you're breathing heavy. You seem to be having a lot of issues carrying that weight. You really need to think about your health. I've addressed this with you, but you don't seem to want to take any advice from anybody other than uh, your fellow frauditors. But oh well, if you want to do that, well, that's your life. And there you have it, the walk of shame by two incompetent numbskulls who, well, really don't know the law or anything else for that matter. Essentially a couple of morons who are suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect. And, uh, well, perhaps a lot more than that. Maybe some uh, severe brain damage. I don't know. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you playing cereal? Who's that?